They're at the post. And they're off in the bourbon stakes. Balance the books, got pinched back at the start, now drops out to the back of the pack, but up front, really sharp is away quickly in the opening strides, along with Road Agent from the outside. There goes Road Agent trying to clear the inside traffic, really sharp right there, second strike the note, third, Slamarama, fourth up on the outside, Ruler of Love, his fifth toward the inside, into the first turn, and then Summit County, who travels toward the center of the pack, down toward the inside, now in the sixth position. Romans Avenue, three wide, seventh around the first turn, followed by Fredericksburg toward the inside, Son of Samurai between those two, gap of three more lengths back to Brown Almighty, who's in the 10th spot, balance the books, is 11th against the rail, and finally, as they head up the backstretch, Army Hero will be the trailer. They got the opening quarter in 23 seconds, and Road Agent is the leader against the rail now by a length and a half midpoint of the backstretch, and it is really sharp in second, opening half mile in 47 and two fifth seconds. And then strike the note is third between horses. Ruler of Love is next toward the inside. And Slamarama, fifth up on the outside, going to be caught wide, heading into the far turn, but in the clear, four lengths off the lead. And then further back, Son of Samurai against the rail is in the sixth position, still with six lengths to make up midway on the far turn. Then Summit County and Brown Almighty, who's toward the center of the pack with a lot of running to do. Meanwhile, really sharp, moves up on the outside to put ahead in front, a quarter mile to come. Road Agent fights on toward the inside, but second, strike the note third off the far turn. Ruler of Love toward the inside needs room. Son of Samurai needs room as well. Slammerama still has five lengths to make up. Balance the books is coming late, still six lengths off the lead. Summit County charging up on the outside. Coming after the leader, Son of Samurai dives to the rail. Balance the books. Balance the books. Huge strides from way back. Head bobbing photo for the win. Either balance the books from the outside or a dead game. Really sharp who fought every step of the way toward the inside. Photo for the win in the bourbon. There is so much going on in this race, but let's concern ourselves first, not with the rough run here by Balance Books on the outside, but whether or not Balance the Books gets there over the three really sharp, who comes back. Yeah, well, we need to take a look at this several times. Uh, look at all the chaos in there. Young horses, many inexperienced, and uh, on the far outside here comes Balance the Books. He had a rough trip. He was bounced a couple of times, but who gets there, Tom? Is it the six on the outside or really sharp? with Elvis Trujillo coming in from Woodbine down on the inside. Very, very close. Mm. I'm not calling that, are you? No. With that camera angle? No. Did, but as we looked at that view, did the three cars interference? Why Why did the three, why was there this chain reaction here, I guess? Well, uh, uh, one of the reasons was the eight horse, Brown Almighty, who never had anywhere to run. Francisco Torres is so frustrated oh. that he just ends up pushing his way out and hitting Balance the Books late knocking him off stride. Bounce the books gets going again. But I tell you what, does he get there? Yeah. You're right, it's the three that caused the initial interference right. here, but it wasn't through any fault of Elvis Trujillo. He's hitting the horse right hand, right handed. He sensed he was veering out. When we take a look at the replay, he shied at something in deep stretch. There's no question about that. Trujillo had the, horse, the whip in his right hand. He was trying to do everything in his power to keep the horse straight. There's a lot going on in this. Yeah, race. the stewards have posted the inquiry and they're going to be looking at a number of things down the stretch. The real question is, who ended up winning this race? Uh, let's watch the, the pan view one more time. And Simon, let's focus in on at least one aspect here of this race. Let's start with the three. Three, okay. You see, Elvis Trujillo got the whip in his right hand. Donna can attest to this. He veers out here sharply. And I think as a rider, you can kind of sense it happening before, as a viewer on the screen, you see it visually. I got a feeling he felt this horse very now because he pulled that whip through as quick as he could to get into the right hand. And then he must have just shot at something, Tom, correct? Yeah, no, he did. And I, I, I mean, that's he, he mugged those two horses outside him yeah. because there was a bit of a chain reaction. So if indeed the three is put up as the winner, or even the second place horse, he's in big trouble as far as the stewards are concerned. Okay, there's also a rider's objection here, as you might imagine, but it is coming from David Cohen <laughs> on the nine, <laughs> son of Samurai. Now, as these guys were talking about earlier, David Cohen got taken down in race six, but uh, it has probably nothing to do with what's going on here. It's just kind of a strange coincidence. But the nine, son of Samurai, the rider David Cohen, lodging an objection here. So maybe we can concentrate on what happens with him and why he would lodge the objection. He's in between back there in the purple and white silks. Yeah, he's in, just in behind there. Things getting very tight. But look at Trujillo right here. 
the three there's out of something. I don't know whether it's where the tractor was, you know, where the starting gate was, where they left, and it left some imprint on the turf there, and he shied away from that. But it could be a myriad of things. David Cohen gets squeezed out of there, now drops to the rail, and will be fading late here. But he is alleging that the three really sharp with Ryder Elvis Trujillo aboard interfered with him. Yeah, the, the crowd the crowd is responding to their, their getting a look at this head on for the first time. They and we sense, still have no order of finish. They sense here. what's coming. Whoever the three is in this order of finish, he's in big trouble. And we showed that the head on is just so telling when you see the head on. Again, no winner has been declared yet as far as the photo. It has, now it is. The six balance the books is your unofficial winner. Okay, so here's your order of finish. Six, three, eight, nine. A lot going on here, but it looks like Chad Brown will be okay with balance the books done. Chad, you had to sweat that out the whole time. Chad and I are sitting here watching, watching the inquiry. Let's talk about balance of books. First of all, he got away from the gate. Horrible. Yeah. What were you thinking through the running of the race? Well, I was a little worried early. Got pinched back. Although it's, he does come from behind. I was a little further back than I wanted. But Jilly knows his track so well, and he knows the horse fairly well. He rode him beautifully, timed it good. It was obviously a lot of traffic in the lane. I'll have to watch the replay. But I thought my horse um, gave his normal kick. Speaking of the traffic in the lane, there's still an objection on the board. You saw the head on. Do you think that you're involved in the objection in any way? Not that I can see. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Now, if you do stay up and, uh, you know, all things considered here, do you go on to the Breeders' Cup from here? And do you go to the dirt or do you go to the turf? Uh, we'll stay on the turf and we'll go to the Breeders' Cup as long as the horse is healthy. So that's our main concern. Hopefully it comes out of this okay. All right.